Hey, welcome to Unreal Labs. Uh, I'm going to do a video today on configuring SSH on a Cisco switch. I've got a 3750 that's currently uh, switched to. It's currently using Telnet. Um, so we're going to configure that day, today. Um, if I can remember my password, there we go. Uh, for SSH instead of Telnet. So I'm going to look at the config here. Just see what's on it. That looks good. So yeah, so we've got our little Telnet password configured uh, for CON0 and BTY0 through 4. And then we do have logon 15, 5 through 15, so should take that off. Um, looking first step, I'm going to make sure I have a username configured. So I do. Um, so that's good, but let's go through that. So that's the first thing I would do is be creating a username, a, lo a login local account. So username, uh, let's do test. Um, and I'm just hitting question mark so you guys can see the options that you have. Um, so I'm going to do privilege 15. So that'd be the highest privilege. And then password, we'll just do Cisco for right now. So test and Cisco. Um, and if we do a show run now, we should see, yeah, that extra username there. So I'm just going to write on that. And then let's uh, let's get into it. So my first step, I am going to, I don't see, yeah, there's no IP domain. So I'm going to configure that first. Oops, comp T. Uh, IP domain name, question mark that so you can see some options there. IP domain name, and then I'm just going to go unreal.local, just the domain I use around here. Um, so that's my first step. Next, I'm going to uh, generate the crypto key that I need for SSH. So that command is crypto, question mark, right, key generate and we're going to generate RSA and then it's recommended like it's giving you the option here for 512 but uh, I would recommend like 2048 bit key so we'll we'll generate that really quick just a stronger key this will take just a second this is kind of a slow switch Oh, coffee this morning. Maybe. There we go. All right. So key has been created. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select the SSH version to use. So that command is IP. You see a bunch of SSH version, and then we're going to see like one and two. I'm going to select two, uh, and then I'm going to do IP SSH authentication retries because I only want to give them so many tries. So we'll do three, and then IP SSH timeout. And as you can see there, that's in seconds. So I'm going to say you yeah, got 60 seconds. Um, now we're going to go into our line VTY 0 through 15. So line VTY 0 through 15, right? And we're going to change this to transport input. You can look at it. I'm going to give you the option. So input, right? Input SSH. And then we're going to go login local. So that login local is going to use the usernames we created uh, above. So that's configured. Now we'll do a show run, just see what our running config looks like. And a lot of guys would write that right now. Um, I'm not going to write that. I'm going to actually, hold on for one second, I'm going to go into config T. I'm going to take off uh, line VTY 0 through 4, no password. Do show run. And that was my old configured uh, tell that password. So 
uh, looks like I blew off the other thing. Yeah, no, so, yeah, transport, log and local, log and local, transport SSH. All right, we're all good. Um, and the reason I don't write run it is because if I have to, if I screw up or something happens when you, you can lock yourself out of a switch, especially if it's a remote switch. So um, if you needed to have a guy reboot it there, then it would come back up with the config you already had. Um, just some advice. I, I tend not to write run right off the bat. So let's exit this, get out of our telnet session. And then we will select switch two in my SSH that I configured. And I think we had test, right? And Cisco. And then as you're seeing here, uh, my program wants to save it. I'm not going to. Uh, and that puts us right at the privilege command prompt on switch two. So show start. Or, yeah, so if I show start, see, as you're seeing, you're not going to see those not good yet. So I'm going to write run that because I know I'm working now. So show start. And you can see uh, transport input, input SSH. Uh, we move up here. IP domain name is unreal.local. Uh, and our, our, our RSA key pair, self-signed. Yeah, so we're all good there. Um, yeah, that's SSH configuration on a Cisco switch. Pretty simple. Like I said, it takes about two minutes. You could, uh, maybe I'll do some videos on like using NetMiko or something to kind of automate this if you have, you know, more than five or six you have to go through. Um, and then I think my next video, I'm going to show you how to secure uh, the VTY lines. So like only maybe an admin uh subnet can use it or maybe just a single ip address uh however you want to configure that that way that there's not a bunch of people that are able to just bang on your your admin ssh login so all right uh yeah well thanks for joining today and uh we'll talk to you soon